So this is all scripts. One of the things that I really want you to pay attention to is this business unit. You need to keep your eyes down here so that you know at all times what business unit you're in. When you're in class with me, you'll be in training. But when you're out in the field with preceptors, you'll be in live, so you can see all that data. Does everybody understand the difference when I say training and live? Mm -hmm. Two different parts of this all scripts. The training, this right now, is all fake data. None of this is true. This isn't a real patient. Okay, that's just something I put in there so that you could see what a patient would look like, okay? When you go into live, it's all real data, and you don't want to just be practicing in there. Okay, that's why we keep your training module, your business unit training on until you graduate from your all scripts classes. Okay? Make sense? Okay, so everybody knows they're going to keep an eye literally on which business unit you're on at all times. That's very important. Okay, because what I've found is some people will be out with their preceptor, but they're in their training mode and they can't understand why they can't see the patient Sam Jones in live because they're not in live. Okay. Here, yours will always say field mode. Rose, whose computer I am using to demonstrate, says field mode, but when we're online, it will say host mode. And what the difference is, is the host, the host hosts the server, so to speak. We're always connected as host to the server. So our information's free flowing very quickly. Yours not, not so much. Yours relies on that synchronization process that I just showed you. It also relies on that you having all your documentation complete and all your time in appropriately. And you'll see that in future classes, how, how that works. So I'm just giving you a taste of it today in the intro. And like I said before, the camera rolled this morning. This is the building blocks. This is your foundation so that when you come back to class tomorrow, you'll say, oh yeah, I remember that this little yellow Lego guy is actually the patient part, patient component in all scripts. Okay, and we'll, and we'll talk about that. Okay? So to get to the My Day, you would be on the 12 there. There is, if you look up here on the, this side, it will tell you, it's on the left, it will tell you what part of all scripts what part of the application you're in. If you get lost, you can look up there and it'll tell you, okay? There are synchronizations right from your My Day, which is nice, okay? Just remember if you're going to sync and you're in the office, you need to have your VPN up, okay? If you are outside the office, then you connect to the upside down Mickey, the air car, you'll do step number one. You will then do the, put your virtual private network up, Cisco VPN. And then when you hit that sync, you'll sync and you'll receive information. That is one of the ways you're going to see your schedule here, okay? If you don't see anything on your schedule, it may mean that you're in the training by mistake. Okay, it may mean that, um, it could be a few things, but that's one of the things that we need. Okay? So then this 12 is the My Day. It, next to it is our patient module. Next to that is resource. Now resources are anything or anyone other than the patient. So we are, all, we are resources in all scripts. Doctors are resources in all scripts. CVS pharmacies are in here for our hospice folks. Our mortuaries are in here. Our bereaved, who's going to be the bereaved, are in here. Um, anything or anyone other than the patient. The patient has its own component. Everyone else has the next, okay? Next to that is the clock. That's the schedule. And the schedule interfaces 
this, this old-fashioned blue clock interfaces with the my schedule on the my day. Now everything that you see on the my day is view only or read only. So you can't make any changes from this screen. You have to go to other portions of the application to make changes. Okay. There is a settings button. There's a help. Um, at this point, um, your educators, your managers, your uh, preceptors are more of a help than that help button is, to be quite honest. <clears throat> okay. To me, they'll, they'll, all scripts help it seems very generic to me. Okay. Under the My Schedule, you are always going to go to your patient and access your patient through your My Schedule. This is today's schedule. I am or Rose is seeing Kate Hooper today. That shows me that. These patients down here are just patients that are assigned to me. This may be, it's the patients I may be following, but I'm not seeing any of those today. I'm seeing this one, okay? That's the difference, and it's important to know the difference, okay? And you will see that in class tomorrow, how we will uh, end up double-clicking on the patient. It brings us right to time log. When we go in through the time log to the patient, it connects all of our documentation to the right date. So you will be learning how, or you will be learning steps to connect to the patient appropriately and how important that is because if you go from down here, it won't be connected and then you'll be spending time with uh, the education department getting all your visits back connected and it, it's difficult, so um, go in the way we tell you. So you'll go into your patient through your schedule. You will have a quick view of what this patient's primary diagnosis is. If there was contact info in there, you would see it in any scheduling notes. And I noticed during the schedule, scheduling notes, you may see something like, patient doesn't wish to be seen until after 10 o'clock in the morning. You may see um, contact granddaughter to set up first visit. You may see gate code there. Let's say you have to get into a, a special code, stuff like that. And you'll be able to get a quick view right from here if you click on that tab. Also gives you a quick view of the patient's phone number, the date of birth of the patient. <clears throat> okay, so that's my schedule. That's the way you want to go in to view your patient data, yes. Do, in the uh, contact information when that, when that sheet pulls up, do they have uh, directions to that location as well or no? You could see it there. Okay. But you may see it in the record too, under our basic tab. Okay. I'm going to show you okay. that. Okay. That's a good question. So any precautions that will be in that schedule note, is what you're saying? What kind of precautions? Like if there's a weight-bearing precaution or nope. I'll show you where it is okay. in the system. Okay, so that's that's the quick view. My tasks, my tasks are actually our electronic email for all scripts that is tied to the patient. It's different than your Outlook that I showed you earlier. Okay, this is different. This is for all scripts, and I like this because it's tied to the patient. It shows care coordination. It also can show that you've done your job. So let's say PT went out, Val went out, and she ordered the OT to come out. She called and said, send the OT out. Well, I'm not saying this happens for the tape, but just in case, there is someone else sitting at the the scheduling desk and nobody scheduled that OT visit, let's say. But Val did diligence and she actually sent a task. And I'll show you that in future classes where you can actually type in an electronic email that attaches to here called a task, attaches right to the patient that shows that she ordered the referral for the OT. And then she, she did her diligence and it shows in the 
the chart, the patient record that she um, did care coordination. Okay, so tasks are important. You may see a task um, from our UR department. Our UR department reviews your charting. And uh, when you're new, they offer suggestions to help you get even better. They also, for the home health side, for our two home health folks, we have um, coding specialists who um, make sure that you've coded, diagnosed, coded it correctly. And um, they will ask you if you're okay with changing that code or maybe putting it secondary and um, they will ask you to agree to those changes. <clears throat> so you may see a code like that. You will get an opportunity to sit with your UR person because they're by team, and they will also go over a lot of this info, okay? That's what tests are. One more thing about tests is, you can see right here, that this fully white circle means you personally haven't acted on that task yet. If it was fully green, then it means that you've completed that task. If it was a half green, half circle, like a half moon green, it would mean that you put it in progress and that means you're working on it. So, you'll get more on tasks later, but I need to introduce that to you, okay? My patients, this is your um, patient load here, and um, you will see that it's, you have to be put on the patient assignment to get in this area. Doesn't mean you're scheduled to see the patient today, right? Because you, you don't see her down here. Okay. You just scroll down. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, I want you to just know the difference. The other thing about these assignments is in the